Yedidi, Rabbi, Rabbi Yitzhak, who's filming this, just said to me that uh, we did 95% of the job by uh, doing, uh, taking the vaccines and uh, doing Ahishtadlis. Um, Rabbi Hashem takes care of, uh, of the rest. I remember Moshe Reichman once told me that uh, he thought one time that 95% of his success was the Rebbeinu Shlalem just turned the events in such a manner that, uh, that the Hashgoch smiled on him, at him. And then he came to the realization that it was 100%. It wasn't uh, 95%. So uh, the fact that there is a vaccine, the fact that uh, it's working, the fact that Israel got it before others, doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, it's kind of storybook-like. It's Hashgocha. Uh, Morgan Avram says in Shulchan Aruch that the of somebody, the mitzvah of mentioning Yitzhiyas Mitzayim during the whole year, one can fulfill even by saying Shiras Hayam, the song that Oz Yoshir, the Kladis recited, that we incorporated into our Tvila when they were witnessed the miracle and the the Egyptians were, uh, were put to rest. The Ichsam Sefer says that uh, Yisias Mitzrayim uh, challenges that. He uh, says he doesn't understand how that would work because Yisias Mitzrayim is a specific miracle unto itself. And that is Yisias Mitzrayim, the going out of Mitzrayim, was its own event. And Shira Sayyam is its own event, and they each uh, require and necessitate a being designated, declared, and the fulfillment of a mitzvah individually, specifically unto each. Uh, Rabbi Kivega in Shulchan Aruch uh, endorses the, uh, endorses the Shem Sefer's problem. Uh, I've seen those that want to, ha that have a mahalach, that Shri Shal Pesach, firstly, it's unusual, is that the, that the Yontif has two actual days of Yontif with the Chalamoid in between. Shmini Atzeres on Sukkot is different because Shmini Atzeres is a Chag. Vifnei Atzma is a, is a Yontif unto itself. Shmini Atzeres. So here we have two pillars of the same Yontif that with incorporating a Cholamoid in the middle. And Shri Shal Pesach is called Atzeres, is called a kind of climax, culmination of the Yontif of, of Pesach. The language that's used in Medrash, Medrash Abba, in Shmais, says that Shvi Shal Pesach is the Shabbos of Pesach. It's kind of the, the climax, the bringing together of, of everything that, just like Maisa Breshas, everything that was leading up till Shabbos was being put in place, and Odom just before Shabbos on Yom HaShishi, put into place to collect, to make an atzeres, a collection of all of the resources of the Bria, and be able to direct them and utilize them for Kvot Shemayim. That's in a sense what's meant by uh, somebody says, recites Vayechulu Chazal say, Somebody's reciting Vayichulu is a partner with the Rebbeinu Shalom in Maisa Breshis. That's Vayichulu is Vayichal. The Rebbeinu Shalom completes 
and invites us to participate in that completion, meaning it has been understood by Yechudu is a lotion of kolel, to bring together all of the disparate parts and features of creation, and they should now address the source from which they came with recognition from where they came. It's kind of a completion of the circle. The Maral, in fact, talks about shira, shear, as a circle. It's like a, it's an earring, it's a bracelet, it's a, it's a necklace. It's shear is to encircle, to encompass, and to, to come full circle. So there are those that indicate Chanoch uh, Kronstein uh, Zatzal uh, brings it in his sefer that the Svona says in Bishalach, and he uh, reiterates this in, uh, in Re'ei, that till Shiras Hayam, till Kriyas Yamsuf, till that moment, the Yetzirah from Mitzrayim was incomplete. It hadn't been yet put into place. Why? Because the Jews were still with a sense of awe and fear of the Mitzrayim. They, the Mitzrayim were chasing them. They saw miracles, but there was perhaps it's having been so long, the Orechaim HaKadosh, and they get so long in slavery, so long that it, the, those feelings of subordination, of subjugation, have, have insinuated themselves into the, the very fabric of their being. And now that the Egyptians are chasing them, yeah, the Rebbe did great things in Yisir's Mitzrayim, but the Egyptians are chasing them now. And they stood at the Yam. They stood at the Yam. And they were debating. There was a fragmentation as they had different positions in arguing what would be the best strategy on how to deal with the pursuing army of Mitzrim. Hard for us to, to, to imagine what it means after having been so long and built in to their mentality this sense of fear to their masters who had murdered their children, Loa Leno, and who had enslaved them in such a vicious and cruel manner. And so the completion of Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, says the Svona, took place there at the Yam. It was incomplete. What had begun a process, a talich that had begun on Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, Pesach, when that, that night that was the Yitzhiya from Mitzrayim, that was like day, Yor Kayom Loilon, that the, the light of Day was, was there at night. The Gro mentions that by Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, it's the only mitzvah that we have, l'chadchila midaraisa, at night. Bishas should the, the matzah and more should, and the, and the, the korban should be there. The other mitzvahs are by day. Midarabonim we have at night. But the Doraisa at night, because that night was like day, but that day of a night was incomplete. It didn't reach its climax, its culmination, until the Shabbos of, of Pesach. The Shabbos of Pesach, according to the Mandush, and according to what we now understand in the Sfona, the is the 
pulling together of everything that had begun in Mitzrayim and reached a, its fullest culmination at Ceres. All the pieces came together at that moment at Yamsuf. It's the Shira that they recited in circling, pulling it all together. It's a moment of connecting to the source, to the, as the, we mentioned in the, in the last year, the, the Pachad Yitzchak talks about the, the, the sense of going back to the Shoresh is the ultimate moment of, of what Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim is about, coming back to the source, to the Rebani Shlalem, that the Rebani Shlalem not just oversees from a distance, but ki Lecho, that the Rebani Shlalem is, is intimately involved with the individual and with Jews, with Jewishness, with Jewish history, and B'ni B'chayri, just like the Rabbi Shmuel Rozovsky, Tzatzal, and the Panevich Rosh Yeshiva used to say that the, a son, child has to create a new din, has in fact created a new din. And the father has to have a chorus to his son because he changed the status of the son. Now the son can sit on a Sanhedrin. Prior to having a child, he doesn't know what, what Rachmanus is. He hasn't broken outside of himself. He needs that which is him and isn't him simultaneously, and that bridge is, the, is his child. B'ni b'chayri Yisrael, similar to the fact that the Bechor made the father for a father and changed the nature of how the world interacts with this person. Similarly, Klal Yisrael Kaviyochel, the Rebbe Nisham says, the Rebbe Nisham declared, Klal Yisrael declared the Rebbe Nisham for the Rebbe Nisham, brought things back to their Shoresh, to their Makor, to the source. And then it would be understandable that Shabbos is the day that does that. Vayachulu, pulling all the pieces together. And that's why Goy Shovas, a guy that keeps Shabbos, is Chayv Misa. Because that's unique and specific and particular to the relationship of class. So you want to participate in that? Fine. Become a Jew. We're not proselytizing. But you can fulfill Shabbos Misa's B'nai Noach. And... Get, get your honorable mention. But if you want this extra participation, you're volunteering for this, that is the unique role of Pnei B'chayri. So the B'chor who has declared this. Why? Because Avram built it in to, to, to the nature of Klad Yisrael throughout history and the covenantal pact meant that even when schus of us would expire, as I'll say, then bris, the bris, the covenantal pact did not expire. That continues in, throughout history till the, till the climax. And this then Shabbos of Pesach, Shvi of Pesach, Pesach is an integral part of the Pesach and was necessary to complete what had begun. Hence, we can make the case that, the, that this is what the Morgan of Rome, in fact, had in mind, understood, that Shiraz Hayam, Shiraz Hayam was the completion of Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, that was incomplete without that, and therefore Shir Hayam is inclusive of the Yetzirah Mitzrayim. Yes, they are two independent mitzvahs, but there is a, an inclusion there as well. 
We read Shira Shirim, this Shia encircling, enclosing, encompassing, all inclusive of the relationship between the Rebbe Shalom and Klai Yisrael. Klai Yisrael, the Novi, Shlom HaMelech says, Al Meshkovi Balelos Bikashti Es Sha'ava Nafshi Bikashti Velo I'm seeking for that which, which I have a love for, a need for. There's a, there's a special there's a special passion for ideas that Jews have that want to give them a sense of what life is about, what the world is about. And that's inescapable because it's built in to the nature of, of Jews. When the Rebbein Islam reached to Am Yisrael, as we said earlier in the, the Shurim, on the Pesach Seder, that the Rebbein Shalom was reaching to Klal Yisrael. That's the moment of Tshuva Me'ava, when the Rebbein Shalom reaches to us. It's a relationship which is irrevocable, that the Rebbein Shalom is always, as time is part of the world in which he created, whenever this moment comes around in time, as we mentioned from the Derech Hashem, that the Tribbein Hashem is out there reaching. That's the time of Tshuva Me'ava. Tshuva Me'ira is Yom Na'oyim. That's, that's Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. Uh, but there's a, there's a close, there's a close connection that to another kind of Yira, that comes and sprouts from this, from this Ava. Losed Lovey, the ultimate gula, will be Pesach time, it says, and we understood that to mean, but it could be Bechol Yom, that Kol Yom Achak that that's the outermost date. Be'ito Achishena, that'll be Be'ito. And it could be that we can understand it then that even when it will be Achishen, the Rebbe Shem Zahelfen, we should be Zeicher, we should be privileged that it should come as soon as possible, now, tomorrow, that we should have it as soon as possible. But even if it is delayed, the, there's, an, there's a Be'ita, there's the Adamos date, which will, be, which will be on Pesach time. And just like Shabbos energizes the world, the days that come before Shabbos, the days that come after Shabbos, the first three days from the past Shabbos, the next three days from the coming Shabbos, in that anticipating that spiritual energy, feeling it as it begins to, to move in waves through the Bria, and we sense it, we feel it, unconsciously, spiritually, on a mystical level. Similarly, the Pesach is the Shabbos, the Shira of the Yam, is the Shabbos of the Pesach, and that will energize the Geula, Asida, even if it will be Zeicha, to Achishena, to making it happen earlier. But along the way, Jews have, have all kinds of stops and stations, and they look for all kinds of solutions and, and ways of trying to do tikkun abriya, tikkun oilam. They can't escape that because they have been designated for that. And Shlomo Melech says about Klai Yisrael in history that during the night of Golos, as I awaken and slumber, partially awake and doze off, 
או קומנו בסוף ובו בעיר, בשפוקם וברחובוס, על wander through the streets and the marketplaces. I'm going to look for sociological and economic solutions to improve the lot of mankind. Because I can't, I can't get away from that. I have, I'm carrying the coded sense of urgency that has been passed on by the patriarchs through the matriarchs and is inescapable as Pesach comes back and the Rebbeinu Shalom reminds us, reminds us, Shabbos Dik, that your energy, your intellectual, spiritual energy is coming from this source. Avaksha Sha'avo Nafshi, I'm looking for this that I passionately search for. Bikashti Vilomatsosiv. I have searched for it and I haven't found it. I've searched for it and I haven't found it. Motsauni has shomrim asovim in beir, but there were there were those out there looking for me, and I was zeichet that the shomrim, the there was a Torah community that reached out, that had a an appreciation of the potential that the Jews have and that they may be talking about their solutions economically in the marketplace. They may be talking about sociological solutions, but deep down what they want is a tikkun olam that will be more than just a transient, temporary kind of a kind of a solution, something that will last and will continue for days. The Rashi Chochma points out that uh, though the Te'enim are are lauded and praised as one of the one of the Sheva Minim. And Yayan, um, the grape also, we, 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 a Geffen. There's an interesting difference between the fundamental difference. That which, the Te'ena itself, yes. The grape itself is not so much, not that level. It's what comes from it. One. Two, the shemen that comes from the Zayas is also it's comparable. The shemen and the yayan are, are to be used on the Mizbeach. That which comes from the Te'ina, from the, the fig, the dvash, is not acceptable on the on the Mizbeach. There'll be generations that which comes from will be Shemendik, will be Gefendik, there will be an improvement, an upgrade of the st state of the parents if they taught them Torah, if the Shomrim and they cooperated and worked for bringing them together. But lo aleinu, there'll be generations where it's a downgrading, that the, the dvash that comes from the, from, the, from the fig is not from the toma, is not going to be acceptable on the mezbeach. There's something that happens, the Maral says, that Mayim, water, is compared to Gashmias. It's amorphous, it has no shape. It takes, the, it takes the form of any vessel in which it's put. But a Mayim al there's Mayim as Terech, as I'll say. Because it's, it's the life-giving, one can go without food for longer than one can go 
without, without water. That's what keeps us. Klai Yisrael had to go through the Yam, fearing they weren't yet completely freed of the enslavement to the Egyptian, to the Mitzri mentality. Not just the physical, not just the physical Mitzri, but the mentality. And they stood debating, arguing, fragmented. Sharply at the, at the Yom Suf, until Yehuda jumped in. When Yehuda jumped in and his tribe jumped in, and the tribe of Yehuda, that's what gave them Malchus. What is Malchus? Malchus is to be able to govern and control every facet of my existence, my physical existence, to subordinate it, the mitzri within me to subordinate that to Tov. The w- Mayim, the Gashmias, can become fixed. It can become enwalled. It can become frozen if I create Gidorim. But that happens when the Jew makes his conscious decision to subordinate the Gashmias to the Ruchnias and then in favor the Mayim then takes shape. It has Gidorim, it has boundaries and it will be used and can be used. This is all included in our Shvi Shel Pesach and the Shvi Shel Pesach is the culmination, the atzeres of the entire Pesach experience when Klad Yisrael B'ni B'chayri declared that it is possible for a human being to surmount the animalism, the minimalist dimension of being a physical creature and elevate it to moments of spirituality to take matzah, even the moro, the bitter experience, to take the meat, to take everything that is on the table and bring it together for a moment of sweet sense of freedom, liberation from not just those that chase me from without, but those that chase me from within. The Rebbe should give us the schus and the koyach for true cheros and yeshuas or refuas and to fulfill our mandate for making that declaration in the Bria that Tikkun Olam is only going to come about through B'ni B'chayri Yisrael, Shabbos Dik, by pulling all the resources at our disposal and in the world together. Good Yontif to all. Thank <laughs> you.